In this video, we're going to go through sending your first email with Smarter Mail. Before you send your first email, you'll want to have already set up your email template and added subscribers to your list. If you haven't got your template and subscribers ready yet, we have other videos to show you how to set them up. Go and give them a watch and then come back to this video. Once you're ready to send your first email, we simply need to go to the manual emails page. On this page, we then click on the new email button. This takes us to the manual email composer. The first step is to choose a layout. I'm going to go with the announcement layout to announce that the Yummy Yogi store has just opened. This gives us some blank placeholders that we can click on to start adding our content. To start with, I'm going to click on this blue title and reword it to something more appropriate. By default, headings with this email template are blue, but if we wanted a different color for this email, we can highlight the text here and click on the paintbrush. Now we can select a different color or type in a particular hex color value of the color we want. We can also adjust different aspects of the text style in here. Now that we're happy with the title, I'm going to add an image. By clicking on the placeholder image, I am presented with the option to upload an image as well as to have it linked to our web page. I can also give it some old text. I'm now going to customize the text below as well as the button. If we wanted to, we could also add a couple of products to the email here. But just to show you that we're not limited by the predefined layout, I'm going to remove this section and then add a new text section by clicking on the text button in the bottom right. Now I want to add a couple of example products. Because I want to have two products side by side, I first have to select the two column option and then click on the product button. Now we can click on the blank product placeholder and select a product to add from the store. For product blocks, you don't need to add a link. The buttons will take your subscribers straight to the product page. If we wanted to, we could also add more content to the email by adding more blocks from the bottom right. You can also rearrange the blocks using these arrows. Once we're happy with how the email is designed, we just need to give it a name. We also need to choose whether we want to send this email to all our subscribers or just certain lists. And then we give the email a subject line. We can also include an optional email preview snippet to go after the subject line in people's inboxes if we want to. Once we're happy with these settings, we can then click on the blue Schedule to Send button. Here we can choose to either send the email immediately or schedule it to send at a later time. The final step is just to click on the blue button. And that's it, you've just sent your first email. If you'd like more help, or if you have any other questions, always feel free to reach out to our support team through the blue intercom button in the bottom right of your screen. Just send us your message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.